and my name's Arthur here, and uh, I'm getting ready to do some fill-in photos for Fred and Fibs, and uh, yeah, I got my little spaceship here, the Cosmo, Cosmic Explorer, and uh, in preparation for me, going to go out and explore the cosmos for Cosmo, I'm going to do a little space-based crossword puzzle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just do this puzzle. First I'm going to color in all these little things on the side of the puzzles. And while I'm doing that coloring, filling in those photos for Fred and Fibs, I'm going to let you potentially work on these little uh, things and see if you can get them right. So, uh, and then when I finish coloring, then I'm going to fill in the crossword puzzle. And you can test yourself to see how many you got right. So... I know I'm going to get right because I've been really studying to prepare to go out to outer space. So once again, here I am, good old Arthur, getting ready to prepare for my space mission by doing a space-based crossword puzzle. So take care, minions. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hey, minions. I got my human glove and I'm ready to do my color in here. So as I'm coloring, I'll read off the clues to um, see if you can guess what they are. So the first clue is 10 letters across, sky at night observer. The second clue is observatory instrument, 9 letters. Next clue, 8 across, planet beyond, soul's grip, grasp. Nine letters. Sol is S-O-L apostrophe S. Next clue, 12 across. Attractive force, seven letters. Next clue, Mars or Neptune, for example, six letters. Next clue, all there is, eight letters. And the final across clue, space race goal, four letters. And now going down, we have Exploding Star, nine letters. Solar Halo, six letters. Falling Star, six letters. Haley's Blank, five letters. Body in a Belt, eight letters. Terra Firma, five letters. Lightest element, eight letters. Largest of the planets, seven letters. Milky Way, for example, six letters. Evening Star, five letters. And Planet's Path, five letters. So if you want, you can pause the video and do each of those um, on your own and... Uh, I'm going to fill in the whole crossword as soon as I'm done coloring all these interesting pictures. So, let's start up here with this weird little structure right here. And I watched how uh, everybody else colored previously. Princess Celestia and, and Ernie and but, and I know that the first thing you want to do is you kind of want to trace the outside edges. Gives you a good way to look at things. A good, good way to see where the borders are, and so it helps you stay within the lines. And then once you fill in the borders, then you can just start coloring and try to go in the same direction. So you got that smooth flow and because I'm right pod I go lower left to upper right and as long as I maintain the same pressure on the crayon as I do my coloring and go in the same direction my finished color the object will have the same consistency throughout so now we got that, and let's go and do, how about we do this 
UFO on the bottom here. So, uh, well, aren't you glad that I'm doing this preparation for the space race? Yep. So, uh, I'm going to call the UFO Orange. Now, here's an interesting thing. The Wibbly Library that my dad got this stuff at, before it was named after Wibbly, it was named after uh, Grissom. Uh, he was an astronaut who, uh, he was one of the first lunar astronauts. I believe his first name was John Grissom. And Grissom. And he, uh, he was one of the first uh, astronauts, and yeah, he uh, unfortunately died in an, in an accident, uh, but his name is now on the moon. Yep, they put a plaque up there with all the astronauts uh, who unfortunately lost their lives in the space race, and he's one of them. So, yeah, he was from this town where we live, so uh, yeah, they honored him with that little... Uh, Think of him in the library after him. And uh, now we got this alien, and we're going to make him green. He's a green alien. Now, my daddy, he watched some, like, UFO thing, and uh, they were saying that, like, there was the main type of aliens were gray aliens. But then there's some green aliens, and they're like the reptilian aliens. And then there's also the blue aliens, and the blue aliens, apparently, they don't, like, get along with the green aliens. Or the gray aliens. And the green aliens, they don't get along with anybody. They, like, have, like, a uh, superiority complex. They think that they're better than all other aliens. and that. So, yeah, the reptilians are apparently a very warlike group of aliens. But I don't know. I haven't run into any aliens. Now, Bert and Ernie, they ran into alien. They ran into Bloor on the moon. Do you remember Bloor on the moon, everybody? Yeah, he had the Boogle amplification device. And thanks to all the minions, Bert and Ernie were able to get home one time when they got stuck on the moon. So, uh, yeah. So, if I get stuck, minions, I hope that uh, you all uh, cheer and get your rats to Boogle because that'll help power my spaceship. Yeah, Bloor installed the Boogle amplification device on uh, Ernie's spaceship, Ernie and Burn Ernie's spaceship, and since I inherited it, I also inherited the bad. So, if I ever get stuck in space, I'm going to have to send an SOS, and you all are going to have to start petting your rats and getting them to Boogle. And then that'll help get me home. But I'm not planning on getting stuck out in space. Because I'm doing lots of preparation. Mm-hmm. It's important to prepare whenever you are, are getting ready to do something. Yeah. I prepared to do this coloring by pulling out my crayons and having a snack. You see, if I figured if I had a snack, I wouldn't be tempted to eat the crayons. Because remember that first time that my brother Durf did a fill-in photos for Fred and Fibs? Yeah, I kept stealing the crayons because they're so yummy. But I figured if I eat a cookie before I color... I won't be tempted to eat the crayons. And that's what I did. That's what, that's what I was doing in my spaceship there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can eat uh, in your spaceship uh, as long as you're not moving. If you try to drive your spaceship while you're eating, you can be a distracted driver. And, you know, you might get it lost. That's how Bert and Ernie ended up on the moon. Bert was snacking and driving. He was trying to go to the Wibbly Library to get a book. But uh, he was snacking and driving. And, uh, yeah... He got lost. So, yeah, not, not very good. So, minions, if you're driving, whether it's a spaceship or a car, pay attention to the road. Pay attention. Just put your phone down, put all your stuff away, and just, just focus on just driving and, and doing that. Because if you don't, you could get into an accident. And then you might get hurt and you won't be able to see all the cool stuff on Marty Mouse House Minions and watch my cool videos like filling photos for Fred and Fibs. So now here I'm going to fill with the crossword puzzle. So, Sky at Night Observer. That is a astronomer. And now let's go two down. An exploding star. That's a supernova. 
-hmm. And now we'll go three down. We'll go in order here. A solar halo. That's a corona. Not to be confused with that alcoholic beverage. Yeah. You don't want to drink and drive. That's even worse than playing on your phone and driving. So a falling star. That is a meteor. Not to be confused with something that's more beefy. Because that's meteor. <laughs> Not funny. And we all know what Haley has. Haley's a comet. It comes around, I believe, every 75 years. So yeah, so most people only get to see it once in their lifetime. Mm-hmm. And then let's go, uh, now we have uh, six down, body in a belt. Well, we know about the asteroid belt. And that's between Earth and Mars. The asteroid belt. What do you call a belt with a watch on it? A waist, W-A-I-S-T, of time. And now we got seven across, the observatory instrument. Oh, we got some of these letters already filled out. Whenever you're doing a crossword puzzle, Minions, if you have one that you don't get, just skip it. And then sometimes you might uh, fill in some letters for that clue through filling out other clues. So do what you can. So this one was a tough one. A planet beyond Sol's grasp. Well, Sol, that's the Roman sun god. And so, what does the sun have? Well... The sun has the eight planets that revolve around it. So, what are planets beyond that, the grasp? Well, those have to be planets that are outside the sun's grasp, so they're called exoplanets. Think of exo, that's like the prefix. Exo, like exoskeleton. It means outside. So, exoplanet is an outer planet outside of the sun that orbits a different star than our sun. So yeah, you can use your root words and prefixes to uh, help find out clues too. So terra firma, that's another word for Earth. And now we go 10 down, the lightest element. Well, if you all were following Science from Ireland with Bert and Ernie, they did an experiment where they talked about hydrogen. So yeah, you should know that if you've been following Bert and Ernie's science for Milo's. I don't know why you wouldn't. They were very good scientists. And the largest of the planet? Oh, that's Jupiter. And now we have 12 across. An attractive force. Well, Bert and Ernie talked about this one too. Gravity. If it wasn't for gravity, we would all float away. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen can float because it's lighter than air. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Milky Way. Well, what is the Milky Way? Well, we know that's a galaxy. Not to be confused with Super Mario Galaxy. My Aunt Lisa likes that game. Mm -hmm. yep. She said this joke this morning, too. What kind of pants does Mario wear? Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Oh, that's a, oh, enough fooling around, folks. Let's uh, go to, go to uh, 14 down. The Evening Star. Oh, that's Venus. Guess who went to Venus? Ernie. Yeah, he, he, he ran away from home because the minions were being mad at him because he bit Princess Celestia. But he found out that he bit Prince Celestia because Prince Celestia stole his treat. But he went to Venus to try to understand women because he heard that men are from Mars and women are from Venus. But that's just the book title. That that ain't really true. Yeah, there's nothing living on Venus because it's 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 all hot because of like all the gases in the air, trapped all the greenhouse gases. That's why they say climate change is really you know something that we got to worry about here because we don't want our climate to get really all hot and. And then we can't live on the Earth like, like Venus. 
So then we have the planet's path, and that's the orbit. And this completes all our downs. And now we just have a few more acrosses. So let's go with 16 across, Mars or Neptune, for example. Well, those are planets. And our final two, all there is. This one could be tricky, but we already know that it starts with a U, has an I as the third letter, and ends in an E. So all there is, well, it might be infinity, but hey, since we know it because of the U, it has to be the universe. Yep. So you have your stars, and then you have your planets that orbit the stars. And uh, then you have... Uh, you have uh, galaxies, and then um, part of galaxies are the universes. So yeah, there's like kind of like how you know there's um, different orders for uh, different orders. You know, there's like uh, the mammal kingdom, and then there's you know phylums and things get subdivided. Well, space gets divided into sections too, like you know. Uh, solar systems and galaxies and then the universe is everything and then our final thing is the space race goal and we all know what that is it's where Bert and Ernie got lost the moon so here we are minions I filled it all out and I did all my coloring and I'll be right back see you in a minute hey minions Arthur and Durf here and uh we just uh, finished doing our fill-in photos for Fred and Fibs. Well, I finished it. Uh, Dorf, who, who ran away, uh, yeah, he doesn't want to help me do final uh, checks on my spaceship, but that's okay. He probably just wants to hang out with the princesses. Uh, but uh, I uh, enjoyed hanging. Speaking of princesses, uh, one, uh, my sister, Princess Prin Prin, she'll be on tomorrow to do some uh, activities with you all. So I hope you enjoyed doing activities with me today. And uh, I hope you're looking forward to my p future um, trip out into outer space where I explore the cosmos for Cosmo in my spaceship. The Cosmo Cosmic Explorer. Complete with tummy buttons! Take care, minions. Have a good night. Ooh. It's just a comfy spaceship. Bye!